Alright guys, so today we are going to go backwards. You're given all of the key features and you have to draw the picture. So the easiest thing to do is to start with the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. Okay, so this y-intercept is at 0, 4, so we're going to put a dot at 0, 4. It says that it doesn't have an x-intercept. The end behavior is at 4, so when I go to the left, my end behavior is at 4. And then it says that my end behavior to the right is also 4. And this says that it's constant, my domain is negative infinity to infinity, and my range is just at 4. So my line actually just looks like this. Straight lines are a little easy. Okay, number 2. Start with the intercepts. So I need a dot at negative 3, 0, and I have a dot at 0, 4. So my line is going to cross through those dots somehow. Now my end behavior on the left hand side, remember this is what's happening to the left and this one's what's happening to the right of my graph. On my left, the left part of my graph, um, we are actually going negative infinity. And on the right side of my graph, I'm going positive infinity. And then I don't really have too much information other than it's increasing. So it looks like my line just kind of goes through those two dots. Okay, um, number three. Again, on this, you want to start with the intercepts. So I have a few intercepts. I have an intercept at negative 5, 0 here. I have an intercept at 3, 0 here. And I have an intercept at 0, 5. My domain is negative infinity to, to infinity. So it's going to continue on left and right. Um, my end behavior, let's look at this guy. I have a negative infinity, so just down. And I have another negative infinity towards the right. It says that my range goes from negative infinity all the way down, and then it stops at 5. So it looks like my picture kind of goes like this. Okay, number 4. All right, so negative infinity to infinity is my domain. My range, oh, look, there's a parenthesis with this. So that means that it's going to have, you know, one of our four little exponential curves. Um, but since it's stopping at negative 6, um, and then it's going to positive infinity, these two would go from uh, negative infinity and stop at 6, negative infinity and stop at 6, so it can't be those two. It's got to be one of these. So we are going to look at our intercepts. So we have an intercept at 3, 0, so we're going to put a dot at 3, 0. And we have a y-intercept at 0, negative 5, so 0, negative 5. Okay, then it says the end behavior. On the left, it's going towards negative 6. And then on the right, it's going positive infinity, so it's going up. So it looks like it's going to be this guy. So um, we are going 6, and then it crosses here, and then it curvies and goes up. And it's okay if your graph is not perfect um, as long as you are trying. Let's do a few more, and then you can practice on your own. All right, so let's try another one. Let's try number two. Okay, so again, on this one, it looks like my intercept, I don't have one for my x. My y-intercept is 0, negative 5. It looks like my end behavior is at negative 5 for the left, and then at the right, it's also negative 5. My range doesn't go bigger than negative 5, so it's stuck right here in the middle. And there's my graph. Um, oh, let's try number four. So on number four, um, this guy, so my x-intercept is at negative two, zero. My other x-intercept is at four, zero. My y-intercept is at zero, negative five. It looks like both of my end behaviors are positive infinities, so both of the ends are going up. Okay, and then my range goes from negative six Oops, that got messed up. That should be a 5. Okay, well, let's fix that. That should be negative 5. Okay, so negative 5 all the way up to infinity. So it looks like your graph kind of looks like this. And it's okay if it's a little messed up. Okay, let's do 6. All right, this one. My x-intercept and my y-intercept is 0. And my end behavior on the left, it's negative infinity. And then on the right, it's positive infinity. 
and it has to go through this point. So it can't cross over here and it can't cross over here. It has to cross here. And it looks like this is increasing. My domain and range are both negative infinity to infinity. So it looks like my picture just looks like that. And then let's look at one more, number eight. Okay, so my end behavior, oh wait, let's do intercepts. I have none intercept. Okay, for my x, my y is at zero, three. Here. My end behavior as negative infinity, then I'm going to zero. So that means that we need to be here. Okay, and then and it's not ever going to cross that. And then to the right, we're going to be going up. Mm. And then the domain is negative infinity to infinity, and the range, the furthest down, it goes to zero. So it looks like my picture just kind of looks like this. Okay, let your teacher know if you have any questions. Have a great day, guys. See you later. Bye.